The top 15 shortest wars in history. I'm trying to think if I can guess at least something in the top three. Are we counting battles inside of individual wars? Because I know Denmark only lasted about two hours against Germany during World War II. I mean, here we have the Japanese Emperor Hirohito, so maybe we are going to be talking about World War II. Shortest war, it all depends. The Second Balkan War, that only lasted 43 days. The Polish-Lithuanian War, 37 days. So we're going to continue to go down from there. The Greco-Turkish War in 1897. These seem like full wars, so I don't think my uh, World War II idea is going to really count here. The Sino-Vietnamese War during the 70s, I believe, the, uh, that's 27 days. The Armino-Georgian uh, War for 24 days. The Norman Conquest, oh, we're going way back in time. 17 days. That's such an accurate number for something that happened like a thousand years ago. The Serbo-Bulgarian War, 14 days. The Indo-Pakistan War of 19... 1971, only 13 days. The next wars are even shorter. Here we go. The War of the Stray Dog. Okay, so we are going to get into some. The 10 day war. Oh, that's right. The three day war. The six day war. It's literally, really, are we sure about that? Wow, I thought the Six Day War lasted five. Uh, the Russo-Georgian War, uh, the football wars, that took place, I thought that was three days, but four days. The Egyptian-Libyan War, which was three days. And then finally, number one, the Anglo-Zanzibar War, 38 minutes. That's right, that's what all the memes talk about. I should have remembered that. During this conflict, the British literally only had one sailor injured. Meanwhile, the other side had 500 casualties. Me, the Europe, by 3D Country Ball Animations. I'm really glad to see he's back here. Please go subscribe. Now, Watch as Switzerland literally does nothing. Let's see exactly what year we're talking about. This is definitely, oh, we have an Austrian painter. Okay, I can see where this is already going. So this is a map of, a current map of Europe. Not again, says Poland. I'm not strong enough to defeat Germany. Hmm, says Denmark. What if, uh... Oh, is that a Lego tank? Why didn't they try this before? We have Kaliningrad. Czechia wants Kaliningrad. Okay, I'm glad those memes are still going. Of course, they'll have to change the name of this place whenever they do take it over. We've got Spain with their, uh, is that Cat the Catalan region? Yes, and the Bulls. Yes, so that that's, this is how they play with their independence. And then the, that's why Catalan gets so angry. Uh, Poland can into space with their spaceship. I'm loving the very small references here. Hey, Poland, want into space, says the Netherlands. I can help you with it. Really? They respond. Take this. Is this a food? Is it- Oh, mushrooms. Ah. Uh, oh, that's right, because it's the Netherlands, too. The Netherlands would be doing some weird stuff with substances. Is that, uh, pal Was that pal <gasps> The no-no song. Uh, this is the Serbian, uh, nationalist song, except in country ball form. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely something I actually just recently looked up the uh, translated lyrics to that. It's not good uh, There is a uh, Montenegro waking up early. What does that mean reference again that they're lazy? I think oh, yeah, because it's it's technically 2 p.m. Here the Sun's already been out How did they get that stereotype anyways? Hungary is oh Romania here comes Romania. Yep with the oh, maybe not so I have four seconds to take the wallet uh, Here they come rolling on by and bam stealing Hungary's wallet Wait, wait, was that hung Romania or whatever? Estonia. Uh, is that, that's what their tuna, their canned tuna. No, says Sweden. Please. Sweden. Are you going to let Estonia? No. Wait, are you asking them for the tuna or for into Nordic? Can I into Nordic? Oh, okay. You're just asking into Nordic. Okay. I was just wondering. Canned tuna mish fish that they have. Uh, is it tuna? It's Sir Strominishing. Something. Here they are. They're still saying no. Please. No. Please. No. Uh, they, are they asking in? All right, please. What? Really? Well, first you have to change the flag. Oh, in the IKEA. Welcome. Is this how you can into Nordic? What? Did they just get banished to the Shadow Realm? Uh, the Netherlands. Oh, the Netherlands is why they're tall because the sea retook their. Oh, that's a very small reference because most of the Netherlands, some of it is like under sea level. Uh, okay, so Sweden. Holy herring. It's perfect to Norway. Will you sell it? The Norwegians, bro. It's just a trash. It's just a trash. Something Norway oil, right? I don't really know. Uh, that is Malta. Italy is fishing for Malta. Does Malta need water? Iceland gonna blow up because that's the only thing I know about Iceland too. The volcano that stops flights. Wow, France, your fries are amazing. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, but that's actually Belgium. Belgium was the one that actually supposedly came up with French fries. I will say it does roll off the tongue better instead of Belgium fries. Here are the two microstates of the Vatican City and San Marino. Of course, Italy's the one that's doing research on them because that's it's inside them. Germany. Uh, Germany having a lot of new people living in their country. Is that a vampire, vampire Romania. Oh, okay. I guess that other country wasn't Romania. Was that Moldova? Uh, France has gone into, uh, their white flag mode. They're surrendering. Crimea. Russia's taking over Crimea and the eastern part of Ukraine. Here's a little war that's happening here. 
uh, with NATO and the U.S. obviously helping Ukraine. Well, this is an epic anime battle. And guys, stop! Let's live in peace! I don't think that's going to work at all, Turkey, but nice, nice shot. Ireland is literally in just a little video game. That's Northern Ireland that, that, that you just bumped into. Was that a pub that they were randomly in for a second? We're going to talk about Bosnia and Cro 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 coastlines. Croche lines. That's the joke. Croatia just built a bridge. And is, isn't this like a bridge that's too low? So now Bosnia can't like take something. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. So they're going to want to blow that up. Uh, this is Italy about to eat quote, Greece. Greece and Canada for putting pineapples on pizza. I, I'm surprised that I'm getting like a lot of these references. Probably not all of them. I don't know what this was really all about. This is just, oh, is it just something about them being depressed outside the EU or something? I don't know. Uh, this is all the kingdoms of the United Kingdom. Wales, England, Kosovo's gone. Was that Albania that just ran by them and grabbed that? Of course it is. Yeah, that's gotta be Albania grabbing that away from Serbia. And here is Slovenia. Slovenia climbing this little mountain. Uh, Belarus, secret developments. That was a real... Uh, Bulgaria and Greece when you said Macedonia instead of North Macedonia. Yeah, I make that mistake a lot. They get mad at that. Switzerland chilling. I love that video so much of Switzerland just sitting there for like 300 years. Meanwhile, all this chaos is happening in the background. Albania explains why they need 700,000... I was just talking about that the other day. Yeah, they did that because uh, apparently the Soviets talked about invading them, so they built 700,000 bunkers. Finland goes to build another Asana. They need that to stay warm. Turkey asks for man membership, and Ukraine asks for membership. I think I missed a thing there. Greece looks at its national debt. Um, I think they didn't seem too mad about it. Lithuania wins. Liechtenstein gaining another member of their army because they just went to war. That talks about how when they sent out their army, there was 80 troops. They came back with 81 because they made a friend. Portugal borders um, Andorra since 12. There's too much stuff happening. I can't even keep up with all this. Portuguese borders haven't changed since 1297. Yes, those borders in Europe. Yes, that is true. Andorra hasn't changed since 1278, uh, being the oldest unchanged borders in the world. Wow. So we, what Portugal needs to do, I was going to say what Portugal should do is go and invade Andorra, but then that would change their borders, making their record meaningless. Latvia's population growth, it's literally just decreasing. Luxembourg and Monaco, in a nutshell, straight up just money. Slovakia win, wait, did I make it the same mistake, Slovenia, Slovakia? When somebody mixed them up with, oh, I think I'm just reading the, I don't really know. I'm always self-conscious of that. Your country. Who's next? I want to see Meet the United States of America. Is that a video yet? The, the first intercontinental, really uh, successful Britain. intercontinental mission. Great okay, so Hilter... Good. Every time he got too close, he got shot. He quickly Hilter realized wanted to bomb he needed Britain. to find a way to bomb England from afar. You know. I mean, he was definitely sending a lot of planes that way, the whole uh, loof waffle. I know that's not how it's pronounced. Like a coward. So he started developing yes. a rocket. They called it... Vengeance weapon. He the was first trying. version of the Vengeance weapon used a pulse jet engine, and it was as effective as a gorilla trying to do crochet. <laughs> so the German jumped was straight pretty... into the second version, a proper rocket that became pretty the first early in those days. Continental missile, or at least a successful one. This rocket, hmm. just like modern rockets, used the fuel and oxidizer I actually didn't know they were the to generate first. thrust. And just like in modern rockets, it required very powerful pumps. I didn't know they were the first ones to technically do it. That's scary. Chamber. And here was the problem: they needed to find a way to rotate the pumps really, really fast. So uh. they turned to the technology at hand steam turbines now oh, boilers tend at to the be time. big heavy and not at all compatible with rocket engines so to solve yes. this problem the nazis took very high concentration hydrogen peroxide and potassium uh -oh. permanganate which what they mixed like to get insanely horribly. high pressure steam look at that Huh. I thought they were going to end that with like, and the whole country blew up or something. Ah, uh, yes, and here's the V1 or flying bomb that Germany was successful with. They actually used it against Britain exactly one week after D-Day. So one week after 1944, June 6, 1944. These are clearly some very early forms of missiles, that's for sure. Worst Dads, Dads in, in history. history by Extra History Henry Channel. Henry Ford was arguably the father Henry of the modern Ford. age, but how was he as an actual father? You Wait know, a second. Name didn't give it away. I thought that was going to be the twist there that Henry Ford, he's the dad of the auto, so he's like a bad Bad dad because he something cars cars universe well he wanted his son Edsel to make cars with him and from the time he was two watching his father drive his first quadricycle that's oh. what Edsel wanted too but Ford also didn't want anyone controlling we Ford Motor Company even after officially Ooh. handing the reins to Edsel for legal and PR reasons Ford still showed who was really Ooh. in charge he undermined Edsel berating him in public and oh man surprised Edsel by using his son's new engine prototype to inaugurate a new metal scrapper oh and wow being a teetotaler himself he also hired Ford security to spy on man. him breaking into his house the more I hear about but Henry Ford, the more I'm just like, jeez. And smashing the bottles in his liquor cabinet. In fact, he continued to harass Edsel, even after he sickened from stomach cancer. Which wow. Ford also blamed Edsel for getting, saying a clean diet would cure him. <laughs> and he kept it up until Edsel died. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
It was only after he buried his only child that Henry Ford asked, Was I too hard on the boy? Oh, Don't geez. forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm not surprised. I mean, I guess at least he had hindsight. Figured out he was a bad dad, just it was too late. Is Can you swim? To sail from the United Kingdom from to New Zealand. The United Kingdom to New Zealand. Touching land. Yes. yes, it's indeed possible. But you just can't show us in that direction. Yeah, I think I forgot how. Don't you have to go around the pole? Uh, like you're going very close to the North Pole. You're going to go how. in that direction, Starting obviously. Starting from the United Kingdom, you would sail oh, through the vast I was North wrong Atlantic about that. Ocean. Yes, across the equator cross through to reach the South the Pole, South almost. Atlantic Ocean, and you're dodging you the Antarctica parallel continent. to the west coast of South America. Continuing, you will cross the formidable Drake Passage between South America's Cape Horn and the Is northern this a straight line? of Antarctica. I know it's curving, but it's a flat map. Ocean. Progressing further, you will continue in the South Pacific Ocean, and following this trajectory, crazy. you would ultimately arrive in New Zealand. I'm Although sure. Although the route may not appear straight on a flat map, yeah. when visualized on a globe, it becomes evident that it's a perfectly straight line. Wow, Anyways, that's incredible. if you've learned something, incredible. New, I wonder if any British sailors to get to their New Zealand colony just did that. I mean, I'm sure they eventually did figure that out towards the end, right? In the 20th century. Yeah, just make sure you be careful nearing the Falkland Islands. POV: A Serb shot an Austrian in Bosnia. So four years later your empire is gone and you're left humiliated and broke. This is basically exactly how Germany felt after World War I. They had their very own, what's that called again? Their own digital circus moment. Europe at this time was certainly a circus and guess what? Germany was going to do their best to keep it a circus for another 20 years because World War II was going to happen. Yeah, I thought we were referring to the Downfall movie. I still have never seen that movie. I need to see that one day. Very nice reference there. Africa will be cut mm. in half by a new ocean. And it ah, will it's going to kind of turn into, remember the subcontinent of India India used to be an island in the Indian Ocean. Changed the lives of millions so, of people. Back maybe in 2005 that's eventually in how plate tectonics are going to go again. A giant 50-kilometer long crack has opened up. Wow. This is a result of three tectonic plates pulling away from each other. So the Somalian Since plate. Then, the crack has been expanding every year and will eventually split into two continents. It's going to take like 50 million ocean years, but... Them. This means that Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, Oof, the DRC, be split. Malawi, and Zambia will suddenly get a coastline. That will make wow. it possible to create industries. Like Again, you have to survive fishing. 50 million. But worse, parts of countries like Ethiopia, Years. Kenya, uh, Tanzania, places are just Somalia, split up. and Mozambique will just drift away. Yeah, we might not even be on Earth at that point anymore City when the actual river half, forms. And day by day swimming away. Fortunately, wow. the crack is expanding just 7 millimeters per year. So we have at least okay. 10 million years to 10 prepare million. for that. 10 million. Not, not quite as long as 50 million, but maybe we'll be in a different galaxy by then. Considering the rate of technology progression, I think so. Or we won't even be around. Disney's Nightmare's Nightmare just through. came true. You haven't heard. The House of Mouse has kind of been in some hot water recently. And it has yeah. to do with some of their characters. Because this is going to open up such a huge rabbit hole too. Because so many other IPs were hoping that Disney was going to continue to push back like copyright law. Eventually everything's going to enter public domain. Coming literal nightmares so this is really just the start of an avalanche that's about to take place. How? Well, something called the and I just realized this partly the reason why there's so many like Sherlock Holmes movies and TV shows that's been in the public domain for a minute now. They only fully happened recently in January 2023. Keep in mind though, a lot of really famous superheroes like Superman was made in 1938 so we're not that far off before he enters public domain as well. Public domain. Basically, it's an expiration date for copyright on a character. After Maybe we'll talk about years, it here. the rights to a character goes public for anyone to use. This is horrid for Disney who have built their company protecting the family yes. friendly brands of characters like Winnie the Pooh. That's why Pan yeah, that's why the Winnie the Pooh horror movie came out this year because that just entered public domain. Even Bambi, and especially all these, their all notorious these. mascot Mickey Mouse. Because as each of these characters rights have gone public, almost instantly people have made absolutely yep. miserable horror films for yep. nothing but a quick buck. And Disney can do That's going and that's like the initial thing, that's like the initial reaction. It's going to be like a low budget horror movie, but give it a couple more years. See what happens after that. Well, that's what almost. I'm curious Matt about. Matt actually made a really good video covering the laws around this, which I definitely recommend been watching. And just think, in 100 years, out. Riggy will be in the same boat. Well, yeah, but I'm already canonically a murderer, so Riggy horror film is basically just a documentary. Yeah, it's not gonna work for the uh, horror movies. Maybe they can turn the horror movie monsters into like romantic comedies. Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, that'd be entertaining. Please go subscribe to all these channels. I learned a lot. Big thanks to my patrons. You can find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look outside. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Jack Drew's voice. Jack no Amateur archaeology. Caramel S. Inquisitor Zero. John Denver. Carino is best lover. Seb, if you Robert hear this, e. I love Tambrin, you. The Great the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy.